Rope Machine Part 2 Rope Stiffness Following on from my first YouTube video, Rope Warp Machine with Variable Settings, I need to explore how to control rope stiffness. This appears to be an important factor in choosing your rope as standing rigging needs a stiff rope but running rigging needs a soft flexible rope to run through the blocks. Looking at ropes sold online gives no help in giving this information, let alone actual material used. This matters as hemp, linen, cotton and polyester all have different properties. During the initial test using the rig, I noticed the trolley was jerking as it moved under the tensioning weight. I tested the actual rope tension for different weights and found the vast difference. On inspection I found that the top green pulley was rubbing on the wood. I modified this with the following result of weight versus tension in grams. 50 gram weight gave 130 gram force on the trolley. 100 gave 200. 150 gave 270 gram. 200 gave 340. 250 430. 300 500. 350 350 550. Finally, 400 gram load gave the 600 gram force on the trolley. The next thing to do was to build a means of stretching and measuring the rope's elongation under load. One end of the test rope was tied to the hook on the digital luggage scales which was fixed to the long wooden batten. The other end of the rope was clamped to the wooden block which slid along the batten. A threaded metal rod was fixed to the sliding block and held by a block fixed to the end of the batten. Turning the nut tensioned the rope. An IKEA tape was glued onto the batten. Boats pre-1940s use natural rope made from hemp, but what is the colour of hemp? Two large 6mm samples came from Chatham Docks and Arthur Beale. The sizing was off at 7.2 to 7.8 and 8mm. One had a lay angle of 30 and the other had 40 degrees. Both had three turns of thread to one strand turn. I subsequently found this 1 to 3 ratio gave consistent 40 degree lay angles in my ropes except for the odd situation. The thin rope on the left is a 1.2 mm hemp from an online store. The right is cotton 186 from Gutemann, so you now have a good guide to colour. Elasticity for 1 mm ropes with 40 degree standard lay. Testing cotton, linen and polyester with variables fixed at 12.5% initial thread reduction, 1 to 3 strand to thread ratio, 150 tension weight and using similar diameter cords gave the following results. 10% was the minimum stretch available. Loads were applied up to 3 to 4 kilograms well beyond practical value to see what would happen. One thing I wanted to see was what would happen to the rope's last if I stretched the rope a second time. Would I actually need to pre-stretch the rope to obtain the rigid finish I was looking for? My research into sail drum servos showed that people exaggerated the load applied in model boats. The load on an international one meter sail sheet was one kilo and half a kilo on an RG65 or the two tests stretch ropes with three to four kilos. 250 gram was chosen as average load to calculate reasonable stretching percentages. Comparing cotton, linen, polyester at 50 degree tension weight showed that pre-stretching the rope reduced stretching by 0.9%, 0.5% and 0.3%. Increasing cotton tension weights from 150 to 300 grams made a considerable difference in the first test with a reduction of half a percent. It's the red to the green lines. The graph on the hemp rope comes from the next graph and shows up it's more elastic than the other materials. Elasticity for one meter times 1.5 millimeter diameter hemp rope. Now to see the effects of altering the lay angle. The same parameters as the last test used with 150 degree tension weight and only hemp rope used. 
Sometimes you'll find ropes quoted as being hard or soft, with hard having a 50 degree lay angle and soft being 30 degrees. Standard is 40 degrees. Most pictures show this. The original 0.23 diameter yarn is shown as a matter of interest. The packet said it was 0.12. What is odd is that you would think that the graph for lines the 30, 40 and 50 degree lay angles would be in order and not have the 50 in the centre. The stretch percentage for the standard 40 degree lay is the same for both stretch tests. Why? Both graphs show the hemp is more elastic than other materials tested. At each load measurement point, the stretch length is only taken when the load is static. To avoid the additional stage of pre-stretching the rope by 2 kg to offer stiffer ropes, it shows that the same effect can be achieved by increasing the load on the trolley. How do you quantify the rope stiffness? That's the next thing I have to sort out. And then where do I buy the material from?